Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Dream Giveaway Garage because guess what? I have that one dream muscle car that many people think about while they're sleeping every single night. It's this car right here. This is it. This is a 2018 Dodge Challenger Demon. But before we get into this maximized muscle car for the drag strip, let's talk about what's going on here. Things are changing. Electrification is becoming the name of the game. And Dodge is already bringing those last call models to dealerships as we speak right now. Now, of course, there's the new Demon 170 that's there to kind of cover all the bases. But what about this 2018 Dodge Demon? It was so unique when it came out for a car to be a sub 10 second car. This car runs the quarter mile less than 10 seconds had the ability to be built with just the driver's seat and nothing else inside. Plus you got that demon crate with all the extra goodies, including the skinny front tires and wheels that you would run at the drag strip. Now, of course, with things changing and that new Charger EV that's supposed to be coming just next year, is this demon gonna go down in history as the ultimate, as the king of all muscle cars? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the sinister black just makes this even more mean of a muscle car than if it was colored any other shade of Dodge's lineup of different colors in their palette. Now, with the Demon, this was the first vehicle in the Challenger lineup to have that flared fender look. So you're getting an extra three inches of width with that fender flare. You came with two sets of wheels and tires, which we'll talk more about that in a second. At the front of the business, you'll notice that you have that, old, that really great ultimate muscle car look with the quad headlight setup. You got the two lights on one side, two on the passenger side, and this is functional. Remember, they hollowed this out to make it functional. Now, th this vehicle is one of 3,300 built. 3,000 for the United States, 300 for Canada. What's fascinating is that this car still holds the Guinness World Record for a production car that when you put the skinny wheels and tires up front from the Demon Crate, it will actually, from a dead stop, carry the front wheels totally off the ground for three feet, three feet in distance down the drag strip. Of course, you're gonna have that SRT badge, street and racing technology. SRT, as we know it, is being disbanded. You'll still see SRT on vehicles, but it just doesn't have that same engineering group base where these crazy high performance cars and trucks were currently built for Dodge and for Ram and for Jeep. Now on the lower end, of course, you're gonna get that massive splitter that you could easily eat your lunch off of and everything along the bottom and the top is fully functional. So your corner vents in the center grill, top portion fully functional and the lower portion. Now remember, the Dodge Demon was the first car where it, to ever use production car, it's air conditioning to cool the engine and not the occupants inside the car. A lot of drag strip technology to make this thing run down the quarter mile as fast as it does, but definitely mean, lean muscle car machine. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you do have a totally unique hood to this Demon. It's called the Air Grabber. You got your massive bulge, so it's like taking four pairs of tube socks and rolling them up. Instead of you having to put them on your person, you got the bulge on your car, and I love the way it's got that classic air grabber name. And wait until we pop the hood, it looks pretty killer. But massive, functional center hood scoop. As you can see, this thing is getting me so hot and bothered that I'm just dripping sweat everywhere. Now, as we come around the bend, we gotta go wide from that fender flare. What do we got going on? These are 18 by 11 inch forged aluminum wheels, specific to the Demon. In this flat black finish, you got the SRT badge. They did put smaller four piston Brembos and smaller rotors at the front end. The reason why they did that is to try to shave weight. So the fenders add weight. They needed to shave some weight and just the brakes shave about 300 pounds of weight off of this vehicle 
from the factory, it came with the Neato drag radials. And like I said, you go into your Demon Crate, you have a full set of snap-on tools, some of the best in the industry, and then you can swap out these massive eight by 11 inch wheels for the five inch skinnies. We do have, of course, that uh, adaptive suspension, all four corners built by Bilstein, very famous shock absorber uh, company from Germany that does some really amazing work over the years with their shock absorbing technology, their dampening, ch dampening ch technology. But what's great is, is that it allows the car that when you set it up for at the drag strip will actually let the back end of the car squat so that when you get on it, when you go on throttle and that Christmas tree goes yellow because you want to go in the yellow, you don't want to go in the green. If you go in the green, you're, you're leaving too late this thing will transfer weight just like an NHRA top fuel drag racer. Now, coming down the rest of the side, you'll notice the Demon. Love the way it's bright red on our particular black example. This one has the addition of a Demon decal set up on the lower doors. Let me know how you feel about that. The vinyl that's been applied, obviously you could peel that off. Let me know in the comment section, would you keep that? Would you peel it off? As we're coming towards the rear, that same great flared fender look, you got that classic satin black fuel filler door, just like the original Challengers. And then we also have a Demon vinyl graphic on the rear fender. Same thing. Let me know how you feel about that. That's not how it came from the factory, but let me know if you like it or if you're just going to peel it off if you win this one. Now, when we come around to the rear, you got your same trunklet spoiler that you would get on many of the other challengers but i love the way they do the led lighting you got the dodge name of course the srt badge street and racing technology and then as we drop it all the way down the ground level you have your vacuum cleaner exhaust it's a clean look i just was hoping for something different especially on the demon but you're going to have that electronic limited slip diff to help you get the power to the ground you have launch control you have all of the different features that you need to be a pro at the drag strip, but why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk muscle of this muscle car. All right guys, time to get underneath that air grabber hood. You can see the functionality of where that air is gonna come out from that massive hood scoop. I love the classic air grabber name. And then as you drop down, there she is. That's that 6.2 liter Hemi supercharged V8 with a 2.7 liter supercharger up top. You do have that open air box with the performance cone filter. Even the size of the air intake tube and the throttle body is massive. But with a larger supercharger, more boost, we have more power. Now, if you run the race chip, the race module, and 100 octane race fuel, you're looking at 840 horsepower, 770 pound-feet of torque. If you're not running race fuel or the module on 91 high octane, you're looking at 808 horsepower. It is bolted to one transmission and one transmission only. That is that Torque Flight 8 speed automatic. With the setup for the street taken and brought to the track at the drag strip, this thing will do 0 to 60 in 2.1 seconds zero to 105 seconds and the quarter mile in 9.65 seconds at 140 miles an hour. From a dead stop, when you go on throttle, it hits with 1.8 Gs. And when you look at the supercharger boost, we're going from 11.6 pounds to 14.5 pounds. The one downside to this vehicle is the weight, 4,000. 250 pounds, but still so incredible to run a 9.6 in the quarter mile. Think about it. If you own, if you owe Dom Toretto a 10 second car, here it is straight from the factory and they're not going to be ba making any more of them. Demon standard one year, the Demon 170 is coming, but that's the big question. Is this one really the king? Let's go ahead. Let's fire it up and smoke them because we got them in this demon.
All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this 2018 Dodge Demon. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, this is something that I would love to park in my driveway. How much is it? MSRP, the way this one was built, is right around $90,000. If you watch Barrett Jackson, if you watch Meekum Auto Auction, if you go to Cars and Bids, or of course bring a trailer, you would know that these are selling for well over MSRP. I've seen some as high as $160,000, $180,000 with the Demon Crate, but let's see what you got back in 2018 when you went Demon to the door panels. I love the Alcantara material. The leather on the armrest with the white contrast stitching. Of course, you got the demon pocket in the back. That's for your demon Twinkies. That comes with cinnamon flavored cream, hot cinnamon flavored cream. Then you got a cup holder up front for a nice large Slurpee to chill yourself out. Harman Kardon sound system. You actually have a number plate on the dash for that demon. This is number 1,125. How do I know that? It says it right there, out of 3,000 in the United States. I wish it had the more premium dash, so I am gonna zonk that. This sort of reminds me of like elephant skin or orange peel, not my favorite. You are getting the 8.4 inch Uconnect 4 system. I know it's the older system, but the great news is it's easy to use so you don't look like a fumbling idiot when you line up at the tree. My advice is practice all this stuff at home so that when you get up to the tree, at the drag strip, you look like you know what you're doing with your launch control, with your line lock. Another thing is that if you're running treaded tires, don't go in the water box. It's actually gonna cause you to slip off the line because water will get tra trapped in each of the uh, water rain guides in the tire. So just something to be aware of that in the tread of the tire for rain, the water will get trapped in there. If you're running the Neato drag radials that come with this, you're fine. Go in the water box, do your big smoky burnout. Of course, we got our different track modes. Track, sport, custom, the whole shabam, real easy to adjust. And then working our way down, you do have all your switch gear. We got our bright red start stop button, eight speed torque flight. And then of course we have that nice leather interior. Open it up, what do we got? We got felt lining, a 12 volt, two USB-A's, aux jack, and enough room in there for where you could put, I would say about 74 muscle men. And if you don't know what muscle men are, look it up on the interwebs. It's something from the 1980s. I used to have a ton of them. Seats, normally there wouldn't be a driver's seat. People had an option for a dollar, the front seat and the rear seat. This has both, but I love the way it's got the demon head right there. And then the Alcantara soft bolstering, and of course you have on the passenger side manual adjustment, which is a bummer. But like I said, I personally wouldn't even put the passenger seat or the rear seat. No sunroof, that adds weight. But why don't you come over to the business end, I wanna show you behind the wheel of this 840 horsepower muscle car. Come on over. All right guys, demon time. Come on into the business end of things. You do have an aluminum brake pedal, throttle, and the world's saddest dead pedal. Look at this thing. It doesn't even look like it's going to hold my foot and I would like it to be aluminum, not just this weird plastic and the rest carpet and be a little bit larger. And if you're wondering why do you need a dead pedal in a drag car? To brace yourself. Duh. Seat controls are easy to get to. You do have your electric adjustment just for the bottom. Manual for the back. I would say for this car just have everything manual. It's all about being at the drag strip, saving the weight, you do get an extra five horsepower for the red seat belts. And then the steering wheel, you got the Alcantara all the way around, the metal paddles to go up and down that torque flight, eight speed automatic. And then you have that digital display in the center and the analog gauges. Love the fact that you could go through a cornucopia of information. I love the way they got all the important gauges, easy to read, easy to understand. I'm not showing you the damn trunk because I don't care. And I'm not showing you the back seat because technically it should not be there. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in this Demon. All right, guys, we are inside this Dodge Demon 2018. Only one of 3,000 brought into the United States. And if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. Ah! 
<laughs> Woo! This thing is Walt Disney World, Busch Gardens, and Universal Studios all wrapped into one. That's how killer this thing is. It is absolutely mind-blowing the performance you are getting straight from the factory. No mods to this thing. And like I said, on 100 octane and the race module, you're looking at 840 horsepower. Now remember, if you're thinking Demon 170, just remember that that vehicle does not come with the fender flares. So for some people, it looks a little weird that there's no fender flares up front. It only has the fender flares out back, which is kind of interesting. So a little bit different take, but with you able to get the Demon Crate, which the Demon 170 does not come with a Demon Crate. It comes with some decanters. This comes with the Demon Crate, the snap-on tools, the whole shabam to give you that ability to swap out the front tires, put the skinnies on, and really be that drag strip king. Especially if you live your life a quarter mile at a time. This car is really gonna be right up your alley. But just like any other Challenger, very easy to drive. Even when you're driving around with the race module and stuff, it, it's such a pussycat to drive. But when you go on throttle, then all hell breaks loose. On throttle! God! <laughs> I don't think there's any brand that does supercharger wine as amazing as Dodge. They really have the supercharger wind down, especially with that larger 2.7 inch supercharger. And what am I saying? 2.7 is 2.7 liter supercharger. Thank you. Thank you, brain, for telling me. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying right, right now. My frontal lobe is like mush because of just how this car is. But uh, on throttle, here we go. Smoke him if you got him. Woo! It's like riding a freaking bonking, a bronking bon bronco because it's like trying to get traction. You're pedaling, you're pedaling. It's, it's one of those things that people think driving a drag car is easy. It's not as easy as you think. I know you're only going in a straight line, but there's a lot going on underneath the car and with the car as you're launching and as you're trying to keep this freaking cruise missile straight and you don't want to cross over the marker line and you definitely don't want to hit the wall. That's not going to be a fun day at the drag strip for you, but it's really a freaking bucking Bronco. This thing is freaking nuts. It, it's so crazy that I can't even talk. I mean, normally I'm able to fluently speak, but when you're driving something like this, it just does something to your brain where uh, everything's just mush. I'm just like a babbling idiot or something. The shifts, when you're in track mode, the shifts are so purposeful, it's like you're being kicked in the back by a donkey. That's how purposeful each shift is. Absolutely crazy. And then of course you got launch control, you can adjust the RPM that you leave at. You ready? Oh, here we go, yeah! <laughs> that back is just fighting for traction. Just fighting for traction, and you gotta be gingerly with the throttle. This car is not for the unskilled and not for the faint of heart. You will wrap this around one of these trees, lickety split in a freaking heartbeat if you don't know what you're doing. But everything else, I mean, it is, it's built for the strip. It's all about the strip. And uh, once you realize that, you kind of understand that point, you, you, you can appreciate it. You can appreciate what this car is all about. One more time for you, one more time for me. Let me slow it down a little bit. Let me slow it down a little bit. Oh, throw, here we go, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Ah. 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 Love this car. It is a freaking beast. Where's my towel?
absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing that I could share it with you here on Rady's Rides, but uh, we need to get the heck out of here before I get myself into some serious trouble and get back to the Dream Giveaway Garage. I'll see you in a muscle car minute. All right, guys. It's been one of those days where your frontal lobe just gets melted to mush because there's no logic or reasoning why this car exists or just how it performs. Definitely want to thank everybody from Dream Giveaway Garage for giving us access to this amazing dream machine. Remember, use the Radies Rides promo code, spend $25 or more, you get double the chance of giveaways to win this dream muscle car. But of course, let me know down in the comment section how you feel about it. Are you thinking this is the king? Do you prefer the Demon 170 more? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. I'll come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up to the man who's been hitting the gym, doing the bicep curls, doing the tricep bends and everything in between so that he could be as strong as this Dodge Demon. Show Steven some love in the comment section. Thank you, Steven, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.